Okay, good day to all the students, Form 4 and Form 5 admin students. How are you? So today, we will learn sum to infinity for the geometric progression. Determining the sum to infinity of geometric progression. So for sum to infinity, the most important thing is the common ratio must be less than 1. Okay? The condition is your R must be less than 1. So the formula for sum to infinity is equal to A first term over 1 minus R. And make sure your R is less than 1. If not, you cannot use your sum to infinity formula. You have to use sum for the first n term if your r is more than 1, okay? Okay, first let's go through the example. Example 16. Find the sum to infinity of geometric progression. 45, 9, 1.8 dot dot dot. So, very simple. You find your first term a equal to 45. Your common ratio is 9 over 45 or 1.8 over 9. So, common ratio is 1 over 5. So, then you just substitute into the formula. S infinity equal to first term over 1 minus 1 over 5. So, your answer is 56 1 over 4. Now, let's go through example 17. The sum to infinity of geometric progression is 31 1 over 2. And the sum of first two terms is 28 find the common ratio. So when you see question like this, you just apply the formula sum to infinity. A over 1 minus R equal to 63 over 2. So express your A in terms of R, then label as first equation. Then you substitute into another equation that you get from the question. The information says sum of first two terms. Okay, is 28. So sum of first two terms, that means first term is A, second term is AR. So these two terms, you plus, is equal to 28. Alright, then you write as equation number 2. Then you solve your equation. Normally for GP, we prefer to divide. Okay, we prefer to divide. It will make your working easier. So if you divide, you can cancel out or eliminate the A. So there is another way you can plus and minus to eliminate unknown. You can also divide to cancel out the unknown. So after you cancel out, you cross multiply and you factorize your, your R. Okay. And then you solve your R. Uh, your R should have two answer because square root always produce two answer. So R is 1 over 3, which is actually one, 1 over 3 is less than 1. And another one is R is negative 1 over 3. And this R also less than 1. So both are accepted. Okay. Let's discuss example 18. Express the repeating decimals 0 0.56363 dot dot in the form of a sum to infinity of geometric progression. Hence, express the number in the simplest form of fraction. Okay, repeating decimal. Please look at the mathematic pocket. Okay, the repeating decimal such as 0 0.56363 can be written as 0 0.563 with a two dot on top. One on top of six, one on top of three. Okay, that is another way of express recurring number or repeating number okay all right so 0 0.56363 dot 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 we are going to convert into fraction so first of all the first step is you need to uh, write 0 0.56363 as 0 0.5 plus 0 0.063 
plus 0 0.00063 plus 0 0.00063 plus so on and so forth. So you need to express until you can see, you can form the geometric progression with a common ratio R less than 1. Okay, so it seems like when you add all the things, you will get 0 0.56363. Okay, please note that 0 0.5 is not forming the GP. So stand alone. 0 0.5 is not your first term. Okay, your first term for the GP start from 0 0.063. And your common ratio is actually, you take 0 0.00063 over 0 0.063. So your common ratio is actually 0 0.01. Right. Okay, so now for 0 0.5, you still copy down. But the last three terms onwards, you can use sum to infinity because you are you are plusing non-stop, okay, until no ending. So we say sum to infinity. So zero point zero six three over one minus zero point zero one is the sum to infinity. Write your answer in fraction, and then simplify your answer to the simplest form, okay. Okay, today's homework is self-practice 5.8. You need to complete the crossword puzzle, okay, the horizontal and the vertical. This is the only homework that I give to you for today. So I hope you try to solve on your own and please double check your answer before you send to me, okay? This is the answer. Okay, I actually prepared the answer so that you will double check. If you make careless mistake, please do correction and learn from your mistake, okay? Okay, students, remember to send your homework to my Gmail account. So, let's take a break. Have coffee. Bye. Thank you. Have a nice day.